The next piece is by Galina Garelova, a composer from Minsk, the capital of Belarus, my hometown. And it's a movement from her piano suite landscapes. And when we were planning this digital season back in April and May, I couldn't have imagined how topical the theme of this episode would be for me personally. Since 1994, my country was ruled by one man, Alexander Lukashenko. On 9th of August, the presidential election was held in Belarus. The results were so blatantly and outrageously rigged, the protests on an unprecedented scale erupted all over the country. People demanded for their voices to be respected. The government tried to suppress protesters by unleashing an ultra-violent crackdown. People were killed, kidnapped and arrested. In prisons, they were beaten up, raped and tortured. The repressions continue to this day. There are no red lines. Press, high school pupils and university students, factory workers, medics, artists are all targeted. Lukashenko himself said that, quote unquote, Sometimes there is no room for law. He counted on terror and intimidation to suppress the protests. However, by the time you'll be watching this episode, Belarusians will continue to be on the streets for the seventh consecutive week of peaceful protests. Peaceful is the crucial word. For every broken bone and broken window, ordinary people responded with flowers, humor and solidarity. They self-organize, help and protect each other. The strength of the protests lies in the fact that they are leaderless. They are driven from within by people from all walks of life who are united in their fight for justice and dignity. I personally dedicate our all women program of this episode to all the incredible Belarusian women who played a leading role and stood up to the misogynistic dictator. The opposition presidential campaign was driven by a female trio – Svetlana Tsikhanovskaya, Maria Kolesnikova and Veronika Tsepkala, with Tsikhanovskaya running for president instead of her jailed husband. Currently, all of them, alongside other main opposition figures, are either exiled or imprisoned. It was the women's marches that provided the momentum for the rejuvenation of the protests after the horrific violence inflicted on demonstrators. To use the last words from Pahonia, our unofficial historical anthem, Nie razbit, nie spinit, nie stremat, these women cannot be crushed, stopped, nor can their movement be halted. Neither can the people of Belarus. Our demands are simple. New open election, freedom to all political prisoners, and hold to all violence from the authorities. Please inform yourself about Belarus. We need your support and solidarity more than ever. Together we will win.